students. Welcome to our Grade 8 Mathematics Student Support Program. So in this video, we are going to look at the last part of the chapter Statistics. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to firstly calculate the mean, secondly find the mode, and thirdly find the median of a given set of raw data. So what is raw data? For example, if I tell you to give me the marks that you have obtained in your tests, this is an example of raw data. So each student will give me his or her marks, which she or he has obtained in the test. So raw data, or we also call it primary data, it is a set of observations which has not been sorted or organized for use. For example, after your mathematics test, which was on 20 marks, if I ask each one of you your marks, so this is what I have been given as answers. 12, 18, 15, 20, 13, and 14. Suppose I have just asked a few of you your marks. So these are what I have obtained. This is what we call raw data. Now I can rearrange this data, I can sort it either in ascending order or in descending order. So in this case, I have sorted the data in ascending order. So the marks will be 12, 13, 14, 15, 18 and 20 in ascending order. Now we are going to consider the mean. What is mean? It is something that you have already covered at primary level. You have called it average. So mean is the average of two or more numbers. The mean of a set of raw data is obtained by dividing the sum of all the observations by the number of observations. Mean equal to sum of all observations over total number of observations, where an observation refers to the data collected. Let us consider this example. Find the mean of part A, 4, 6, 8, 10 and 12, part B, 6.2, 9.3, 4.5, 1.6, 7.3, and 7.1. So the solution for part A, the mean of 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12 will be, I need to add all these numbers, and in all we have 5 observations, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So I divide by 5. The sum is going to give me 40, 40 divided by 5, which is 8. So the mean of this set of numbers is 8. Part B, to find the mean of these numbers, so I add all of them. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 observations, so I divide by 6. So the sum here is 36. 36 over 6, which is 6. So I have a mean of 6. Now let us look at the second example. The mean of a group of 5 numbers is 20. A 6 number is added to this group, and the mean of the 6 numbers is now 24. You need to find the 6 number. So the solution is, Mean of 5 numbers is given as 20. So we have 5 numbers and their mean is 20. So the total of the 5 numbers will be 20 times 5, which is 100. Now mean of 6 numbers is given as 24. So the mean of 6 numbers now is 24. So the total will be 24 times 6, that is 144. The total of 5 numbers will be 100, and the total of 6 numbers, 144. So 
What do you think will be the sixth number? Yes, the sixth number will be 144 minus 100. That is 44. Now we look at the mode. The mode refers to the value or number which occurs most often in a set of data. It corresponds to what we call the highest frequency. Consider the following pencil cases and find out which one corresponds to the mood. So if we look at the different pictures, we can see that the red pencil case is the one which we find most often. We can see it four times, whereas the green one is seen only three times. So the mode will be the red pencil case. Let us now look at some other examples. Find the mode of pot A, 62566. Six. So the solution will be 6. This is because the number 6 occurs 3 times. Pot B, to find the mode of 8 minus 3, 9 minus 3, 8 minus 3, minus 2, minus 2, 7 and minus 3. So which number can you see most often in this set of data? Yes, the mode is minus 3. It occurs 4 times. 8 is occurring only 2 times, minus 2, 2 times, whereas minus 3 occurs 4 times. So this is the mode. Now let us look at pot C. Minus 1, 4, 5, 4, minus 1, 4, 6, and minus 1. If we look at this set of data, we can see that minus 1 occurs 3 times. 4 also occurs 3 times. So here we have two values corresponding to the mode. So the modes will be minus 1 and 4, because both minus 1 and 4 occur 3 times. We say that this set of data is bimodal. In fact, a set of data may have more than one mode. Now let us look at pod D. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Here each value is occurring only one time. So, since each value appears only once, there is no mode for this set of data. But be careful, no mode does not mean that the mode is zero. We just write no mode. Now we look at the median. What is the median? It is the value, the middle value, of the arranged data set. The data set should first be arranged either in ascending or descending order, and it will correspond to the middle value. Now, if there is an odd number of values in the data set, then the median is the middle value. But if we have an even number of values in the data set, then the median is the average, that is the mean, of the two middle values. Let us look at an example. Find the median of the following set of data. Pot A, 12, 15, 11, 9, 14, 16, and 18. So the first step will be to rearrange this set of data, to sort the data. Here, we are going to rearrange it in ascending order. So you have 9, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 18. Now, the median will correspond to the middle value. So what we do is we cross 9 on the left-hand side, and then we cross the next number on the right-hand side, 18. We do it exactly for the second one, 11. 16, 12, 15. 
So the middle value here is 40. So our median will be 40. This is when we have an odd number of observations. Now we consider the second example where we will have an even number of observations. So the first step will be to sort our data in ascending order. So we start 35, 75, 38, 74, 45, 65. We are left with two values here, 58 and 62. So I said earlier, if we have an even number of observations, then we find the average, the mean of the two middle values. So the median will be 58 plus 62 divided by 2. That is 60. Now let us look at problem involving mean, mode and median. In a mathematics test, a group of eight friends obtain the following marks out of 25. So here are the marks. Find their mean, mode and median. So this was the given set of data. To find the mean, remember we need to add all the observations divided by the total number of observations. So 12 plus 25 plus 20 plus 15 plus 18 plus 15 plus 18 plus 18 divided by 8. That is 141 over 8, which gives us a mean of 17.625. Now, to find the mode, we can see that the number 18 appears three times. So the mode here is 18. Now to find the median, I need to rearrange the data given. So I sort the data in ascending order and we proceed as before. I cancel 12, 25, 15, 20, 15, 18. So I had eight observations, an even number of observations. So the median will be the average of the two middle values. That is 18 plus 18 over 2, which is 18. So here are some exercises for you to practice. First question, find the mean of first part, 19, 12, 14, 25 and 18. Second part, 2.3, 1.2, 6.5, 4.7, 5.5, 6.5. Six point five and seven point one. Question two. I saved the following amounts of money during the first five months of the year. So you have fifty rupees, seventy five rupees, thirty five rupees, twenty rupees, and fifty rupees. Calculate the average amount of money I saved per month. Question three. Simla received the following marks in five subjects. For the second term exams, 75, 87, 90, 88, and 79. If she wishes to obtain an average of 85 marks in her six subjects, how many marks must she obtain in the six subject? Question four. Find the mode of a given set of data, so 15, 21, 26, 15, 25, and 40. Same for question 5 and 6. For question 7, you need to find the median of 19, 29, 36, 15, and 20. Question 8, find the median of 67, 29, 92, 35, 80, and 74. Question 9, you need to find the mean, mode, and median of the different parts. And question 10, the ice cream vendor sold the following number of ice creams over the last six days. 28, 
39, 42, 15, 45 and 50. Calculate the average number of ice creams sold each day. So here are some links for you to get some more practice on how to find the mean, mode and median. So friends, in this lesson we have learned how to find the mean, mode and median of a set of raw data. And with this lesson we have ended a series of lessons on statistics. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson. So friends, it's goodbye from me.